excuse the mess in the back everything behind me is under construction but before i start uploading fall content i wanted to update you on the trends you can expect this season so here's my list of the top menswear clothing trends for fall 2024 i felt that was a bit long for a title so this season is the return of the foundational garments that stood the test of time paired with the voluminous aesthetic of the 90s so you can expect the fit of these items to be more relaxed and comfortable but at the same time look look classy and polished number one on my list are oversized coats i'm not talking about throwing on a coat that's a few sizes too big that you know the street style crowd is doing right now i'm talking about coats that have volume in the body and added length that that gives the wearer a dramatic drape down past the knees now as for the style of coat it's really up to you but i would consider a car coat trench coat or my favorite a double breasted overcoat owning one of these coats that has a generous cut will allow you to move much easier and allow you to experiment with more uh, layers underneath for the winter time i recently took one out of the vault and played around with it a bit now once i do some needed alterations um, and book a flight to somewhere that doesn't have Florida weather, you can expect me to pull up in this thing. I'll see if I can post some pictures, but a more volu voluminous and lengthy coat gives off just a powerful and, and bold sartorial silhouette. Pretty badass. Number two, cardigan sweaters. Yes, they are making a comeback this season. And I don't know if it's just me and, and I'm just getting old, but I always thought these were stylish. And now the kids are calling this grandpa core. I don't know, but I do know that they are versatile enough to work with just about anything, you know, from like a simple plain t-shirt to a shirt and tie. I personally will stick with uh, solid colors made from wool, cotton, or cashmere. But if you want to jump on the trend and add a bit more character to your cardigan game, you can try one on with like mixed patterns and textures to mohair or fuzzy alpaca cardigans. It's all about the fuzz this season. And you can expect a lot more trends coming from this grandpa core inspiration, such as sweater vests, chunky turtlenecks, tweed sport coats, and more. Number three, retro inspired sneakers. Now, the German army trainer, more specifically the Adidas Samba, has been a staple for many during the summertime, but this season is all about the retro runner style, such as like the New Balance 574, Sacconi DXN trainers, or the Gola sneakers, I think it's Gola, Gala, I don't know. All three pretty much have the same silhouette and you can expect heritage brands to reproduce these classics, as well as, you know, independent brands to produce uh, a, a, an inspired version with a modern, modern twist. And I'll show you, I actually own one right now. Let me show you real quick. Um, okay, so this one, it is from Beckett Simonon. See, it's pretty much the same silhouette. The lighting isn't the best, but yeah, this is a runner with made out of pull-up leather, leather. Really nice. It kind of adds like a distress looks, like worn look the more you wear it. Probably, probably do a review later on today, but yeah, let's keep going. Number four, unstructured, relaxed tailoring. Now this past season has been all about the wide pleated trousers paired as separates with casual tops. But this season, you can expect brands to push out two-piece suits made from casual fabric such as uh, uh, chino cotton or any other you know fabric that has you know some texture. But the style of sport coat that's gonna be trending hard this season is the double-breasted sport coat. I've already seen some brands you know pushing these out, you know, adding their own twist to them like a, like a very wide 90s fit to it with, you know, the, the notch lapels. But I would stick with the wide peak lapels if you're in the market for one. Number five, Oxford shirts and ties. Now, Oxford shirts never went anywhere. They, they are a classic staple in a man's wardrobe. But ties, I'm still skeptical if they really are coming back, but they were seen a lot in the runway shows and it makes sense with the resurgence of uh, men's tailored clothing so hey you can expect to see traditional pattern ties such as you know the donegals the full arts the mosaic patterns and rep ties number six classic shoes with lug soles 
I actually just added one to the collection. I'll show you in a bit. But the Chunky Soul is still going strong and you can expect to see it on many shoes. But the one that's gonna be the most trendy this season is the Derby style shoe, which is a great shoe if you wanna pair it with, you know, relaxed, tailored, or business casual clothing. Now, I really wasn't about the, the Lug Soul uh, shoes, but it's just so practical and useful during the rain. Uh, this one's also from Beckett Simonon. This is not sponsored, they just sent me this one. This is really cool, this is a really nice one. I wear this during the rain, it also made out of pull-up leather, rubber lug sole. Let me know if you want me to do a review on these. Okay, back to the video. Number seven, cargo pants. Yes, every fashion influencer over the age of 50 wears nightmare is making a comeback, but it's with a more tailored look and a stylish approach. Not those oversized ones that, that the kids on TikTok are, are wearing, but just also expect a, a rise in tailored workwear and utility, utility inspired outerwear, such as, you know, chore coats and field jackets. So to sum it up, I mean, it seems we're continuing to go back to the archives by revisiting the stuff that has stood the test of time and as someone who has experimented a little bit here and there, it's not only comfortable, but also practical. And I'm excited to see where we go from here on out. But anyways, let me know what you're excited to wear this fall. And remember guys, the best trends are the ones that make you feel confident and comfortable. Experiment with different styles and find what works best for you. Peace.